The music, the lyrics, the sounds we create that rhythm that beats in our hearts. Mixed and then mastered perfectly, framed together to be pieced apart. Did you hear it? What up, what up, y'all? Welcome to Peace to Part. It's me, Miss Ruby, the songwriter and lyrical analyst, here to talk to you today about Rihanna's song Stay featuring Mickey Echo. Now I've been a little back and forth with Riri because Diamonds was my jam. Very well written, but Pour It Up is one of those songs that I'd be fine never hearing again. And this song, Stay, is definitely a keeper, a replayer, a stayer. It's a single off of her album, Unapologetic, that she just released a video for a couple weeks ago. So if you haven't seen that video, click this link right here, which will also be pasted in the description box below. In it, she discusses a faltering relationship that she doesn't want to let go of. However, at first listen, you probably won't understand anything she's talking about other than the fact that she wants this guy to stay. In the first verse, she sings the lines, All along, it was a fever, a cold sweat, hot-headed believer. Okay, first off, shout outs to the writer Mickey Echo and Justin Parker for writing these lyrics. Those two lines were not only perfect for each other, but the message is as somber as the melody it's delivered in. Their opening lines to a reflective thought by Rihanna about how the faltering relationship began in the heat of the moment, unbalanced, and you know cold sweats are usually caused by anxiety. And anxiety is usually caused when we're pulsating and uncertain about what we're about to do. All in all, the relationship wasn't right to begin with. But, as the following lines explain, She threw her hands in the air and said, show me something. Which is what we usually do, right? We feel something sensational and fear it could be bad for us, but refuse to resist temptation and just go all in. And that's how the games begin. Round and round and round and round we go. As you can see, this is a plea for clarity. As I said, it was an uncertain relationship to begin with, and now she's all in and she needs him to clarify that he is too. The chorus is one of those less is more situations where all Rihanna really says is she's not really sure how to feel about it, but she feels like she can't live without it, so she wants him to stay. I'd like to comment on the music video right now because in it, Rihanna is sitting in a bathtub, naked and seemingly makeupless, bare skin, sad, and really looking like she's going through it. Have you ever gone through this? When you know it's not good for you, but just so freaking hooked to the pain that you can't let go. I think this is one of the hardest feelings to shake when you go all in in a relationship. That's why I recommend patience, which happens to be the topic discussed in my last lyric review. But seriously, I know people that are so weak and desperate for love that they dive in blindly every time. And every time, their only focus is on the initial thrill of it all and they figure that they can worry about the rest later on. Then they end up singing in bathtubs all alone, scared shitless because they don't know how to get out of it, and even more scared because they're not sure they actually want to get out of it. Holla if you feel me. Anyway, Mickey gets the second verse and he only sings two new lines that go, It's not much of a life you're living. It's not just something you take, it's given. Not really sure what I think about it. Are you? I mean, I guess he's trying to say that the love she's holding on to is not good for her life. And love isn't something we take, it's something we receive. And in a way, refusing to let go of something that's not good for us is like taking without permission. But if it were good for us, we wouldn't have to fight to keep it. It'd be given to us. What do you think? In the climax of the song, the two sing these lines in unison. The reason I hold on is because I need this whole gone. Funny you're the broken one when I'm the only one who needed saving. Because when you never see the light, it's hard to know which one of us is caving. Not only does this bring understanding to the rest of the song, but it opens up another layer of depression expressed here. The two are hooked on one another for all the wrong reasons. If ever you stay in a relationship for the sake of filling a void or not being lonely, get out. Because that's exactly what's happening here. It's like they went into this relationship null and void and dependent on one another to feel whole, but they're both broken and they both needed to be saved. Both buried in their own sorrow so much that they're unable to see the other one drowning. How are you going to give something to somebody else that you don't even have yourself? And that's why they both know they need out, but they can't muster up enough desire to actually want out, if that makes sense. It usually takes a rock bottom occurrence to motivate someone to depart from their addiction. And in the plot of this song, I don't think either one of them are at rock bottom. But they're both aware that they're heading there. And that's why they're so sad, but still begging each other to stay. Some people listen to this song and they think the message is based on true love. 
I think it's based on desperation. But I wrote a song very similar to this years ago and that's why I find such a connection. Okay, so I wanna know what you listeners got from this song. Any substance at all? Or were you too absorbed in the singing? I know, it's hard not to be. But when you feel like going back and actually listen to what the song is saying, come back here and tell me what your thoughts are, okay? On a scale of one to 10, I give the song Stay by Rihanna featuring Mickey Echo a sparkling eight. How about you? As always, thank you for stopping by Peace Depart Music. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more lyric reviews. Leave your request before you go, and don't forget to leave your piece in the box below. It's Miss Ruby signing off, and I'll see you next time.